Good morning, everybody. We're here in Paducah, Kentucky. I just went down the road to get my coffee from Pilot. I bought a coffee from that uh, Southern, Southern Pride truck stop that I slept at. In three kilometers. Oh, come on down, Karen. We're getting coffee. Road, KY Talking here. I, I got a coffee from Southern Pride, but it was coffee-flavored water. So I'm stopping in here for a real coffee. One that will actually wake me up and not just uh, put the coffee taste in my mouth. Hoping I can just park in front of the pumps here somewhere. Got going nice and early today. It felt good. There we go. Yeah, we started our day around 6 a.m. grab fuel later in the day. Just need some coffee now. Got that bean to cup. It's got a little bit more of an oomph. I like a good kick in the morning. Kick right in the pants. Wake me up. You know what I mean? I can't stand weak coffee. I don't want this thing to start. I left it in gear. That's smart. There you are, my girl. Okay. So yeah, I can't stand weak coffee. It's one of my pet peeves. And what a waste of time and money. You get all excited for a coffee and then you sip it. You're like, that's water. Anyways, let's get on the road. We got a long day ahead of us. See how far we can get.
we've got another four hours left on our clock to drive today. We should be done around 6 o'clock. I think it's 2.20 right now. 3, 4, 5, around 6.30. And then we can uh, shut down then and be ready to go at 4.30 tomorrow morning. I'm going to get going nice and early so that I can get home. And I'll have another, oh what, eight hours to drive tomorrow yet. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. We should get back around twelve thirty, one o'clock. Add a couple extra hours in there for breaks and stuff too. Three o'clock. I should be home before supper. And then I'll be home for most of Saturday. But Saturday evening I've got to go. This load is supposed to be, or it has to be in... Okotox, Alberta, just south of Calgary, Monday morning now instead of Tuesday because this truck needs to be safetyed and I need to get back to the shop to get it safety. Every year the truck has to go in for a safety inspection and it's time. So uh, I'm going to be going delivering this load Monday morning and coming straight back. And then I'll probably have quite a few days off at home because i got to be home for the next week. And I might end up being home for a week again. We'll see. Hopefully I can do a few things in between and not be gone that, I mean, home for so long. But I can't complain. I've been gone for a while. I wouldn't mind being home for a week. I know my bank would disagree with me. But uh, it is what it is. The truck needs a safety. You may as well take advantage of that because now I'll have some extra time at home during the summer months. lot to get done at home still. There's a lot to get done. I want to build a dog run in our backyard, <clears throat> mostly for the little guys, uh, but also for the big guys as well. Uh, when the dogs are outside, you got to be very careful. You got to watch them very closely. We let them outside as much as we can. We like to spend as much time outdoors as we can, especially this time of year, uh, because the weather's nice and the dogs need to be outside, run around, stretch their legs, you know. So uh, when they are outside, you got to be very careful. Watch them like a hawk because if they see a squirrel, boop, they're gone. Just like this guy. This guy's the Squirrel Hunter 2000 right here. This guy's a machine. He sees a squirrel and boop, he's gone. That's how I know where to find them. But if you're not watching him, you have no idea which direction he took off in. You know, I don't know what he chased off either. Maybe, maybe he's chasing a bear through the woods, you know? Maybe he's chasing a cougar, and in, in those cases, I gotta be worried because I don't want my dogs chasing those animals because those animals will fight back and kill them. I also gotta worry about, you know, wolves or coyotes luring our dogs off into the bush where they'll kill them as well. What they'll do is they'll send one member of the pack out into the open, and it'll uh, they'll lure your dog into the bush, right? He'll, they'll, he'll pop out of the bush and your dog will be like, ooh, a friend, right? And go and rush off to meet him. The wolf will slink back, slink back into the woods and your dog follows him into the woods to go play and then he gets surrounded by the rest of the pack and then they they surround him and they kill him. That's that's how they, uh, they, they'll they kill your dog. Uh, also how they can kill small humans, children and stuff, so you gotta watch out. Like We don't have kids yet, but when you do, if you see an unfamiliar dog in the yard, don't follow it into the woods. But uh, with the little dogs, we have to worry about even more, like Wiener, the little guy, and, you know, and Frankie, the big big Frank. You got to worry about eagles and hawks coming down and picking them up. Like, they, there's been reports of, like, Wiener dogs being picked up by eagles and carried away and, you know, dropped from the sky or brought back to their nest or whatever they do with them. What are you telling me to do here? Oh, okay, yeah, stay on I-39. Okay, I thought she was telling me to leave the freeway. Like, why? I'm staying on the freeway. I know where I am now. We're uh, coming up to the border with Wisconsin. We're in Rockford, Illinois here. So I want to build the dog run for the dogs. Just to keep them safe from wandering off, getting lost, or eaten. <laughs> so i got to do that. I've also got to clear out, uh, or not clear out, clean up the door, the whole situation with the door that we installed last time I was home. I got to finish that all up. I gotta get the drywall up, gotta tape it, putty it, uh, 
seal, well it's already sealed off, gotta trim it all, do the outside, finish that all up. And then we also got our pump for our pond, which I can either pump the water out of the pond first, which I might do, and then clear out the bottom of the pond, and then pump the water back in from the creek. Or I'll just pump it straight, I don't know, we'll see. The pump is there anyways, so I can start working on that. So if I am home for a week, yeah, my bank account's gonna hurt, it's gonna be, uh, it's not gonna like it that much, but it is what it is. This truck needs to go in for a safety. Uh, Britt and I are also still working on our fertility. Uh, no good news to report to you yet. We're still trying to have our first, and uh, you know, we'll get there eventually, but throughout the whole virus thing, all our, our fertility clinic shut down. So I think they're just starting to reopen, or they reopened last month or this month, they're reopen anyway, so now we gotta get back on uh, the monthly fertility appointments. So I gotta be home for that as well. So if, if they do leave me at home for a week, yeah, it's make things a little tight this month, but there's no lack of things to get done at home. Uh, there'll be lots of videos from at home then, because lots of chores to do, including the lawn. I can't wait to mow the lawn. I'm looking forward to getting home to mow the lawn, get on that new tractor and mowing it again. I actually look forward to it now. Well, I always look forward to mowing the lawn. Let's not joke around. Like it's, I love mowing lawn, but now it's extra fun and so easy. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll be home tomorrow sometime during the day, probably in the afternoon. We are coming to the end of our day. We got seven minutes to park and two miles till our exit. And it's only 6.30. Well, I call this the afternoon. I guess 6.30 in the evening. So there's no way there won't be parking there. So we'll shut down at 6.30. We'll be able to start our day tomorrow at 4.30 in the morning before the good Lord himself even gets out of bed at that ungodly hour. All right, Diesel. And we'll get ourselves going. And I think we got another eight hours home. Take US 10 CRRW 127 Osseo. What? Oseo? Is it Oseo or is it Oseo? I think it's Oseo. Oseo, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. About as far as we could today. We've driven 1,058 kilometers, which is about 660 miles. Somewhere in there. Exit 88. I-94, Wisconsin. I've never stayed here before. At least I don't think so. Maybe I'll recognize it once I get there. I picked this place, uh, it's not uh, a major stop. We got six minutes. I picked this place because it was at the perfect spot to match with my logbook, but it's not like one of those big chain truck stops or anything. It's not a Pilot or a Flying J or a Loves or a TA or anything. I think it's a BP. It's just like a private, well, private, it's like a small. Small travel plaza. There's a big cow up there, Diesel. You see that? You love cows. I love cows too, especially when they're on my plate. Hmm, delicious. Moe's Diner. Moe's Diner, isn't that from The Simpsons? Their slogan was almost world famous. Well, now you're world famous. I broadcast you around the world. Moe's Diner in Wisconsin. Oseo. Oseo, Oseo. Oh, it's actually not the BP. It's beside the BP. Okay, well. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of trucks here already. Yikes. Oh, we're gonna go park in the back somewhere. Oh, there's lots of room in the back there. Oh yeah, we'll be just fine. Wait, I think there's a car coming. Yep, I'm right. Yep, there's a car. Oh, and he wants to turn this way, of course. I could have gone. Now there's a pickup coming. Maybe not. Yep, there he is. No, he's turning, okay. Let's go see what they got back here. Anybody order a tiny house? Make a U-turn if possible and then oh, approach quiet. destination on the left side. Quiet. 
Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, this is Pothole City. All right, another one of these, that's okay. That means it'll be quieter here tonight than the regular truck stops. Look at all that space back there yet. Oh, look at that. Let's go back here, let's see what's back here. I've never been here before, huh? I have three minutes, okay, we're gonna have to park pretty quick. <laughs> See, I'd park back here, but I don't know if this is all gonna get blocked off in the morning or not. You know how drivers are. In 100 meters, make a U-turn if possible and then turn right into 150 meters. I'd love to park back here. It'd be perfect. Don't know if I can trust these people up here because they've already parked like right in the middle of everything. park over here. We'll call it a night. In 100 meters, turn right on. Quiet, Head Karen. Top road and then turn left in 120 meters. Well, Diesel. We had to run to the other side of the parking lot real quick before a clock ran out, but I saw this guy backing in here. Mr. Diamond Driver. Whatever that means. But he parked first. That means I don't have to worry about him backing into me. So he parked and then I moved up, parked beside him. I think there's room for another guy to park beside me here yet on that side, but at least he can pull forward and it'll be an easy, easy park for them. So as long as nobody blocks me in tonight, I'll be able to leave 4.30 in the morning. And that'll be that. It's been a crazy day. Just It went by so fast because we were just driving the whole day. Like, it was a long day. 1,061 kilometers all together. Wow. 660-some miles. Let's see. How many miles is that exactly? 1,061. 1,061 divided by 1.61. 659 miles. We got another 812 kilometers, 500 miles to do tomorrow. We're gonna start at 4.30 bright and early. I hope to see you here.